In this video I'm going to turn fabric into book cloth that can be used in book binding which does not involve backing the fabric with paper. In the first video on book cloth I described the properties of book cloth as making the fabric stiff enough to be manipulated, cut and folded, and that stops adhesive striking through to the outside surface. I also said there were optional characteristics such as some sort of protective coating on the fabric that makes some combination of hard wearing able to be cleaned or protected from dirt and resistance to water and moisture. Finally, for some applications, the resulting book cloth might need to accept hot foil. In the first video, the stiffness and impermeability were provided by a backing of paper, but this does not provide any surface protection or allow a natural fibre fabric to accept foil. According to Tomlinson and Masters, the first reasonably successful cloth covering material specifically made for bookbinding in the 1820s was a bleached and dyed cotton filled with coloured starch and calendered. This video will use roughly this technique looking at three different filling materials. Instead of calendaring, we will let the material dry on a waterproof barrier. I also won't use coloured starch and this will be saved for yet another video on book cloth where decorative techniques will be explored. I've seen videos by other people who use glass to make this type of book cloth. I've found that often the resulting material is so well adhered to the glass that it is destroyed in removing it. I've found some thick plastic films to be excellent for this purpose. In a video by the fabric artist and bookbinder Martha Cole, she recommends polypropylene film. I've found any thick plastic film that has a silicone feel to it works well. I suspect these are likely to be polypropylene as this is such a widely used plastic. I have found the heavy duty plastic bags Australia Post puts the mail in on rainy days to be excellent. I think you just need to experiment and find a plastic film that works well where you are. I tape a layer of this material over a piece of board and use it for all the filling materials. The first two filling materials I'll demonstrate are starch based paste and the modern alternative methyl cellulose. I think refined starch paste would be best used rather than wheat flour paste as the exposed dry paste will likely yellow with age as explained in the wheat flour paste video. The methyl cellulose I'll use is a 4% mix and making methyl cellulose is explained in the video on this subject. The technique is straightforward. Cut a piece of fabric larger than the needed application, brush a good layer of the adhesive on the back of the fabric and flip it on the plastic covered board. Move the fabric so any pattern and thread are straight. Paint a layer of the adhesive on the front of the fabric going over one final time with the brush in long parallel even strokes. Leave the fabric to dry on the plastic. I've been experimenting with making book cloth for over two years in preparation for these videos. The main thing I've learnt is that every fabric works differently. One essential characteristic of the cloth needed for this technique to work is that the weave of the fabric needs to be tight enough so that the adhesive can form a continuous film on the back surface against the plastic drying film. But I also find that if the weave is too tight, the surface texture of the finished book cloth is less attractive. Like all creative endeavours, experimentation and testing is a key part of achieving success. This cloth is an excellent example of this unpredictability. It's the only cloth where the paste caused the colour to change where the methyl cellulose didn't. Also, I lost the original footage, so I reproduced this footage at the last moment and dried the cloth with the dehumidifier turned way down, and that caused the paste version to pull off the plastic. Never mind.
The final filling material I'll demonstrate is a 50-50 mix of starch paste and acrylic medium. Acrylic medium is the basis of acrylic paints but without the colouring agents. There is a wide range of acrylic mediums available and I've tried many of them. Surprisingly the ones I've used have produced similar results. The main difference I've seen is in the thickness and if the mix is too thick I add a small amount of water. I got this idea of using acrylic mediums from Martha Cole's Standard of Excellence video. I have found that the Liquitex fabric medium produces really good results. Not surprising since it was designed for use with fabric and that is what I generally use now. After mixing the starch paste with the acrylic medium I apply it in the same way as the paste and methyl cellulose. So what is the difference in the three finished book cloths? On average I really like the texture of the straight paste cloth though the other two are pleasing also. Most of the experiments I have done I think the methyl cellulose takes some of the brightness out of colours while the paste just darkens colours without affecting the saturation. But as mentioned earlier this dark blue cloth did the opposite. One huge difference is that water reactivates the paste and methyl cellulose and the surface becomes tacky when exposed to water. Whereas the paste medium mix absorbs little moisture and I think provides good protection from water and allows for cleaning if the surface becomes dirty. So how do you decide which method to use? I don't have an easy answer for this. I think you need to experiment. Thin and loose weave materials are good candidates for backing with paper. If you have a fabric with an interesting surface sheen or texture I'd try starch paste. And if you want added protection and want to use hot foil I'd use acrylic medium paste mix. The final test is to see how these book cloths accept hot foil. I have found after about a half a dozen experiments that all the cloths that I've made using the paste medium mix have accepted hot foil very well. I've had very mixed results with straight paste and methyl cellulose. Usually by changing foils I can find one that works okay. I did make a book cloth with printed bumblebees on it which the paste version would not accept foil at all. If you need to use foil I'd recommend the paste medium mix, otherwise you just need to experiment. I hope you've found something useful in these videos on making your own book cloth. As always I really appreciate you hitting the big thumbs up button. If you're able to and would like to you can support me on Patreon and the details are in the description below. If you want to be notified of my future videos please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. Hope everyone's staying safe. Until next time, cheerio!